Church organizations have brainwashed people, the whole world, into believing that if they don't come to church, then they are lost. They won't go to heaven. They are separated from God. But that's a lie. That's an utter lie. What we need to go to heaven is a relationship with Jesus Christ every moment of your life. And it's got nothing to do with church. Nothing whatsoever. We need to be in constant relationship with Jesus. Because when Jesus comes and lives in your heart, when you repent of sin, my friend, then His Spirit will guide you into all truth. And many people have this problem of getting the church out of them because they are brainwashed, they are addicted to it. If they don't go to church, then they feel that they are under conviction. And then the people tell them, but you haven't been in church. Uh, there's something wrong with you. Going to church won't get you into heaven, my friend. Following Jesus is what will get you into heaven. Having a habit of going to a church on a Sunday does not make you a Christian. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ every moment of your life, that makes you a follower of Jesus Christ. You don't want to go and have a relationship with Him once a week or when there's a meeting on in that building. You want to know every moment of your life that Jesus Christ is happy with me. I'm satisfied with Him. Now you ask me about fellowship, the fellowship of the saints. When you walk with Jesus, my friend, you will find other people who really love Jesus. And when you and that person get together, then you've got fellowship, whether it be in his house or wherever you go. And you will find that you treasure the company of people that really love Christ. And not of people that just go to a church to have a good time. Because that's not what it is about. If you follow Jesus, you don't have time to go and sit and listen to other people. You don't have time for donut parties and for, uh, for getting up and sitting down and getting up and sitting down and listening to a program. If you follow Jesus, you've only got one thing in your mind, and that is following Jesus. And how can I please Jesus Christ today? Church is an addiction. And people believe they got to go there because they've been lied to. They've been taken captive by church organizations. You've got to be busy with Jesus every moment of your life. If you focused on Jesus, His Holy Spirit will speak to you all the time, my friend. And you will seek knowledge of Christ. Where do you get knowledge of Christ? You ask Him. James 1.5, James wrote, he says, If anyone needs wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all men freely and abradeth not. You want to know? He will tell you. It's also written in Romans 8 verse 14. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Church is an addiction. People don't care if they can just go and sit there in the church and sleep even. Or if the pastor or the priest or whoever the person is that they've appointed there, just greets them and sa says, Oh, my brother, you're doing fine. Then they're happy. But they're not worried about what God thinks. They're not worried about the Holy Spirit inside of them that convicts them because they've been drunk all week. That doesn't worry them. They are worried about people and what people say. My friend, if you're still worried about what people say, then you haven't met God. Then you've got no relationship with Jesus whatsoever. Because I'll tell you one thing. If you are in a relationship with Jesus Christ, the world will hate you because you'll be a holy person and you'll be pleasing God and you'll be rejected. But God will accept you. And if you're still worried about what people say, then you're not worried about what God says. What is important is what does Jesus think of me this very moment? Is Jesus happy with what I'm doing right now? With what I'm thinking right now? What I occupy myself with? Is Jesus happy? How am I going to know that? I ask Him. Because His Spirit lives in me and He will convict me immediately of sin, righteousness and judgment if i'm busy with sin you'll tell me no if i'm busy with other things and i'm not following jesus christ he will also convict me my friend and his holy spirit inside of me will guide me into righteousness and into doing his will because if you are a christian a follower of jesus you do what pleases jesus not what pleases you or what pleases the church down the road 
You've got a relationship with Christ, my friend. You've got no business with anything else. Nobody else in this world. You are set on Christ. Your mind is on your King and Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. You're not addicted to a church. You're not addicted to TV. You're not addicted to anything else. You're addicted to Jesus. That's what you're addicted to. Jesus is your peace. He's your righteousness. And while you've got peace with Him, you're happy. And when your peace leaves you, then you're unhappy. Then you get back to Jesus quickly. And if you go out of the will of Christ, you will be unhappy. If you don't sear your conscience by enjoying your sin and you're not really following Jesus. If you seek Jesus, my friend, you will find Him. There's only one way to get into heaven. And that is by a relationship with Jesus Christ 24-7. 365 days a year. And 366 over around the fourth year. Every moment of your day, you've got to be busy with Jesus. All the time. If Jesus is not the center of your whole being, then you don't know Him. You're not in a relationship with Him. You're not interested in Him. Seek Jesus, my friend, and get delivered from your addiction of church. Jesus bless you.